What I find really interesting and unique about the ABT framework is that the mixture of it being, on the one hand, really simple. I mean, it doesn't to do a first pass on an ABT is very straightforward, but on the other hand, it's really deep. And to really get it right and figure out what are the pieces in ABT takes a lot of practice. And so it's this wonderful combination of simplicity and complexity, which keeps me interested. The ABT framework provides the rules that one needs to develop a good narrative to write that persuasive proposal or presentation. And in the past, I always just learned by rote which ones sounded good, what, what worked. And now what I realize is that they are the best ones because they actually are following the rules of developing a strong narrative and that those rules then can then be used in a more effective way and more readily taught to students. I spent a year as a rotator at NSF and when you do that you see a large number of proposals and you see which ones float, which ones get funded, which ones the reviewers respond to, and which ones don't. And those proposals that were able to effectively communicate the not only the enthusiasm of the research but had a structure that provided a strong narrative and basically fit what the ABT framework is are the ones that really rose to the top. Those are the ones that reviewers respond to. And I found this in my own proposal writing that that really helped me. And now I have the ABT framework to actually be able to articulate what it was about those proposals that really made them float. Well, in this world, we have, uh, we're swimming in proposals and we're swimming in presentations. And so you have to grab people's attention and keep it. And what the ABT does is just that. It, it opens up with a way of uh, bringing the audience in. Then it charges their interest by, through the use of uh, contradiction and then brings it all to a conclusion. It's the perfect structure for any proposal or any presentation. I find that with each iteration of the course, I learn new things. And there's new situations, new ways of thinking about things, or sometimes that light bulb just suddenly goes on with a new next time of hearing about something and practicing it. And like all skills, the more that you practice it, the better you get and the easier it is to then find those strong narratives in your proposals or your presentations or whatever you're trying to do. Well, like I said, the interesting thing about the ABT is that it's both simple superficially, but it's also very deep and complicated. It's not something you can learn in one afternoon. And so I've found that uh, repeating the process over and over again, the so-called narrative gym is really helpful because you get this cumulative understanding of what's going on. I'm working on a book and I'm using ABT every time I sit down to my computer. Yes, that's good. I would I would put that in. What's your book on? Uh, it's on um, making the planet better. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! The, actually, the chapter that I found easiest to write was the one on communication. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>